The price of Terra Luna Classic is falling off of a cliff. We don't know what's going on. I'm just kidding. We know exactly what's going on. If you don't know what's going on, I'm going to explain it to you right now. If you like this type of content, make sure you hit the like button on the way in. And we're going to kick this off, but I want to say something. It's very simple. Bitcoin, the broader markets, uh, Japan just had a black swan event. Uh, we've had, uh, since Donald Trump took the stage for Bitcoin 2024, which was a sell the news event, we've had continuing sell down pressure. You might be asking yourself, how do we go from so bullish a week ago to so bearish today? Well, the answer is very simple. Market makers are manipulating you and using these events to their own design. Now, is that the only answer? No, there is still some conflict in Israel that is going to have to be tended to. So if you are not already, I would implore you, go outside and touch grass, take a deep breath, and remember, it's almost over. Fear and Greed Index is way down. It might go down a little bit more. Today, we're going to see another big dip because the ETFs have not even started trading yet. So we could see a $44,000 Bitcoin. And by the way, it could be lower than 44000 I'm not telling you that 44000 is your entry position, but uh, you probably would do yourself a, a pretty big favor if you went long at 44000 on Bitcoin. I, I think that, that uh, I think that's going to, we're going to trigger a rally here. Have we had enough blood in the water? It feels like it. But I don't think so yet. So again, if you like this content, make sure you hit the like button. Uh, I'm not telling you anything that you probably don't already know, but let's talk Luna Classic now. All right, guys, so there's no major news events. There's nothing to really talk about in that context. So uh, there's some questions here being asked on Cosmos. I would encourage you to come over and check it out. Why upgrade to Cosmos SDK 0 0.5, 0 0.8 before reactivating the market module for USD repeg? Uh, then there's a the tax to gas implementation. And then there's the removal of KYC proposal. Now, don't worry about the removal of KYC. It never came up for uh, a vote. Uh, or not yet, anyway. Then we got tax to gas. So tax to gas, what is going on? Well, there are currently two proposals that we are working through right now. There's 12.121 and 12.120. <clears throat> now, 12.121 is a community spend proposal to pay frag for the work that's already been done here. And as you can see, for most of this, uh, it's been just yes, 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 yes. Uh, Lunk to dollar with zero percentage of votes. Uh, for some reason is voting no, but everybody else is voting yes to make sure uh, that people who put in the work are being rewarded. So uh, I would encourage you to vote however you want on it. Uh, but uh, for some clarity on this, this is basically a spend prop for the work Frag did to change the split for the rewards of the burn tax. So that's all this is, is paying somebody for their work done. Also, there's spend proposal 12120. Uh, with my awesome title in it, which is fantastic. It's, it's incredible. Uh, representing Genuine Labs, I submitted this proposal. Uh, now, the overview, this is the over, and I'm going to encourage you guys, we're not going to read this whole thing right now, okay? Uh, now, uh, we're going to go through and skim a few of these things. Tax to gas implementation, this is what it includes, uh, it moving, et cetera, et cetera. Now, here's the pros and the cons. Pros and the cons. Uh, and this is for uh, number one, the, the tax to gas implementation. Uh, user will not have to overpay for the gas. The simulation process will be more precise. Uh, validator might take a little less rewards than usual and convert all tax into gas in a predefined gas price and allow users to pay by multiple denoms to cover gas. So you, you, you can pay with different types. Now, um, that is a potential problem, but here's the thing it will eventually work itself out. It's going to be a Cosmos wallet, so it's going to be Cosmos stuff. So unless there's some wild Cosmos project out here that's looking to uh, start paying itself to burn, generally speaking, it's going to be USTC and Luna Classic. So uh, I think we should be fine, but again, you know, this is... Um, uh, and there's also some adding logic to bypass some special IBC transactions. So again, I encourage you to go read this and decide for yourself if this is what it is for you. Uh, that's going to be at lunk dash so you can go check it out there. Now, burn tracker, 1.48 billion. So not, not great, but not bad. I mean, if you could just consider that the Binance burn was 1.17 billion, that means that we've got about 200, uh, 310 billion that have been burned in the last seven days, which is a little bit more than what we normally get. Normally it's around 100 to 200 billion. So that's uh, a good number. All right, guys, I want to show you here that I'm unstaking from all nodes. Again, I, I don't jive with what I think they're doing. So I'm unstaking over here about 10 million, and then I'm going to take that and put it into somewhere else. 
So let's talk price action. You guys see what I wrote here a couple days ago, right? What I wrote here a couple days ago was what we would probably see would be a dip down to retest the bottom of this line. Now it's possible that we can have a breakout, but the more likely scenario is that we were gonna have a test down here. Now, this market is not finished dumping. It is entirely possible that we come down even further below this. I don't think that it's likely. I think this kind of represents the floor, if you will. So, and let me put a ray right here to kind of give you an idea here. You know, this kind of looks like the bottom. This was the bottom over here before we had the big time reversal. Uh, we've continued down this, um, th this channel. Now there will be a breakout and we will come back up here and we will test 74, 75 again pretty soon. And then we'll have a break towards the upside. Now we'll remove this for the moment as it appears that we're going straight across. But generally speaking, we're at the mercy if you will, of the entire and broader market. There are some concerns. Uh, job report came in on Friday, it was horrible. Uh, and unemployment's up to 4.3%, which means that there's a lot of mass layoffs, which means there's a lot of capital not in the market that's been leaking out. We don't have a money printer turned on. The Fed last Wednesday decided not to drop ba the, the rate by any basis points. There could be an emergency meeting today, by the way, uh, where we change that and you might see the Fed reduce interest rates and try and try to stimulate the economy to fix what is going on right now. But this is fear. There are exactly three places that you need to be on Telegram. Cryptonomy updates, where you get all the daily market updates and information that you need in order to be a successful investor. Cryptonomy finance to get all of the news that you need to get you through this day and cryptonomy community so that you can engage with other like-minded people to talk about what is going on in the cryptocurrency market. And do not forget to follow at cryptonomy underscore fi on X for all of your up-to-date information. All right, guys, looking in on my fixed deposits, as you can see, we've completed a couple of them right now. I earned 0.037 Bitcoin. 0.012 Bitcoin right now. That's about 0.05 Bitcoin, couple thousand dollars in value at this point. What I'm going to do today, we're gonna to make another big deposit. I'm gonna use 406 million SHIB. I'm gonna stake this for nine months. Again, I do believe about nine months from now, gonna be the optimal time. So 71.8% APY, we're gonna continue that. We're gonna accept. All right, now we're locked in with 406 million SHIB, 71.8% return. Uh, I think that's going to be a fantastic yield. Uh, super excited about this one. But as you guys can see, what am I earning over here? I've got an Ethereum that I'm going to pull out pretty soon. 0.67 ETH already. By the end of this, I'm going to have earned 0.99 Ethereum. My XRP, an extra 2,313 Ether XRP. Don't forget the magnificent yields being done on the ROIs right here for the launch pool. We are getting fantastic returns. Guys, you gotta stake with Cryptonomy.finance. So guys, make sure you check out Cryptonomy.finance today. This is fear catching up to people right now. This is manipulation catching up to people and it's all coming at a perfect time. Market makers are shaking you out. The end. Now, why do I say that? What I just did right here is I zoomed out on the Dow Jones Industrial Average. And I want you guys to just get a clear understanding of what's happening right here. Uh, we are complaining, as a market, we are complaining about, we're hovering near the all-time high. I mean, I'm zooming out right here. This is why we're complaining, right? Okay, just just humor me here. We haven't seen prices this low since May. Uh, I'm sorry, we haven't seen prices this low since the beginning of July. I mean, when you put it into context that I'm trying to put it in for you here, then you could see, or at least you should have reason to see, that we're not falling apart. The, the world's not uh, collapsing. Uh, you know, this, this kind of this kind of stuff right here, this this incredible volatility that we saw over here uh, around COVID and after COVID when all of this started to come down. And we're not seeing that. We're seeing a correction. We've seen corrections as bad or worse in the last couple of months. So... You know, when we look at this, this is just another leg up. <coughs> this is a sweep uh, to clear out uh, the money and take you to a whole new level. Okay, so I, I wouldn't be too concerned about that. Now, I would be concerned in the event that you didn't bounce strongly 
off of the 50 MA. And look, I know you guys are not Dow Jones people, or most of you probably not. Some of you might be, but this is important because it's a predicator for how the market will react. Now, there it is right there. Right off the 50, we got a very strong bounce. So this could be, by the way, for the Dow Jones, a continuation. We had broad sell-offs for a couple days. Uh, and by the way, it's not going to, it's not, again, we have recession fears. Uh, we have uh, the Israel conflict. We have fear in the market. We have people getting shaken out. Here's the fear and greed index right now, 31. Now, that means to me, we're not done yet. That means to me, when this thing gets down to the 20s or the 11s or something like that, that's when we really should be uh, a go for a big time reversal. And by the way, let me point out something. You've never seen anything like this. This is a black swan event uh, for some of you that haven't been in the market. This is 17% Bitcoin decline over the day. Ethereum is now down on the year, coming back down to 2247. The ETFs just launched. We should be seeing a huge spike in price, and we will, by the way, we, we will. Uh, we're gonna see a, a huge spike in everything right now. This is the buy opportunity at the top of your lifetime. So again, don't get, you, you might get shaken out of your position, but you shouldn't. You, you should uh, recognize the signals and the signs right here. And one of the signs is, hey guys, if you haven't already, you should go trade at TerraCasino.io. Do you know why? Because the market's crashing around you. You don't know what's happening. You're getting scared. You're getting shaken out. You're getting worried, right? So what can you do to try to alleviate some of that? Well, go over here and start to do some risk-based gaming. Uh, go wager yourself on some sports. Go uh, PvP poker. Go play some... Then we used to play Texas Hold'em. Why play Texas Hold'em? Why are you looking at me? Uh, Blackjack. Uh, you've got all kinds of different games. You've got all kinds of different casino events. Go over here and check it out. And if you want to do some crypto trading, then come over here to the Terraport.finance platform. Check it out. Now, you look, you're looking at all of these uh, coins and or tokens, and look how far down everything is today. Look, there's a broad sell-off. There's no fix for this other than time. And once time has uh, kind of lapsed here, we're going to be fine. But again, we're in uh, a black swan event. We're right in the middle of it. Uh, it could go a little bit further down. It could go a lot further down. We don't know yet. It's going to be interesting to see how this plays out. Now, you will notice Bitcoin holding very, very strong over the day, even though down 17%. That's not a small amount. That is a gigantic and catastrophic sort of amount. But everything else, same thing, even worse. So uh, we shall see. There is a reversal coming uh, and, and it's going to be this month. This is when we. This is when something is going to happen, and it's not what we're seeing right now. So you know, pay attention to uh, the signals, and the signals are still pretty strong and pretty valid in the positives. Uh, as far as uh, the rest of these, now look, these are the very small, very minor uh, tokens that haven't had the, the, the liftoff chance right now. And you can see right here, there's a lot of trade volume. There's a lot of upward momentum on some of these, but they're just kind of launching immediately. And, you know, uh, th there's only a few of them that are going to last. Rakeoff down 20%, Lunk down 20%, um, Garuda, a Big Bang X, by the way. We're going to talk about that tomorrow. This is kind of, again, we, we got some stuff that we want to go over in this uh, in this ecosystem that we need to cover. Uh, the Terra to Lunk pairing is down 18, 16% for the day. Roddy to Lunk pairing down 31%. So all of this is just, you know, um, it's an event. So guys, don't get shaken out. All right, guys, that's it. We've got a sweep up from that low that I just showed you guys on the chart. And could we come up here and we test a, a, a little bit of a high uh, going back into it? Well, yeah, I mean, you know, there, some of these some of these things didn't dump nearly as much as others. You know, we, we haven't seen drawdowns of enormous magnitude on several different projects. So there's probably a narrative at play here that will reverse pretty quickly. Uh, RWA, maybe. I don't know which one it's going to be. Maybe blockchains get a run, uh, which would mean Lunk gets a run. But, but I don't know yet. We're going to have to see how this market shakes out. And once we see what it looks like, then we will have a little bit of clarity and then we can continue on. But for right now, down about $270 billion in a single day off of a day in which we were down, I want to say about $30 billion on a day. After a day, we were down about $10 billion on a day. After a day, we were down about $30 billion on another day. Uh, and when you're looking at it and you're thinking to yourself, I mean, like, is this the crypto market collapsing? No. Let me show you one last piece. 
Uh, if we get picked up by a certain range, it would be this range right here. What happened? Because that happened over here. What happened? We dipped through that. Where do we end up? We end up right here. Uh, could we end up a little bit further down? Yes. Uh, we could end up right down in anywhere in this little range right here. Most likely, if we have a full-on capitulation, comes down into this little spot right here. So you know, we're not done yet. Uh, we may not go any further, but we're not done yet. So um, uh, things will change very rapidly. Uh, just hold on to your hats. And don't get shaken out. If you sell, make sure you sell the top portion uh, and, and that there's more bottom coming. Don't sell the bottom because then you're doing exactly what the market makers need you to do in order to uh, secure your position. They're going to enter in below you and then the next thing you know, there's going to be this rapid and incredible pump and you're going to have missed it because you, um, you exited out of your position. So uh, don't do that. Let's, uh, let's stick together. Make sure that everything runs pretty smooth. This is not financial advice, but I'm always right.